This right behind me may look like an average window unit, but it is so much more. This right here is the air spool solar powered inverter window unit. This air conditioner is amazing in that it will automatically transfer from solar power, which it will prioritize to grid power on cloudy days when the sun is not out. You can still run this and it is a quite efficient unit as it has an inverter compressor, a DC fan motor, and it uses way less amps than a traditional AC unit and it cools amazingly as we'll show you in this video. So we're gonna show you how to install this from start to finish and we'll show you how it works. All right, so this is what you're gonna get in your air spool window unit. So of course the unit itself, we have these two cables that are automatically plugged in to the unit that it's shipped like this. We have our 110 volt plug there. We have our remote. This also comes with a length of solar wire as well as our DC isolator switch. So we can mount this anywhere on the outside of the unit as long as we're not blocking airflow. And then of course we have an installation packet. We've got some double stick tape, uh, foam tape here, some tools and bits, as well as the actual installation manual. So we're gonna show you exactly how to install this. Anyone can do this and pop it in a window and start saving money immediately. All right, so before we get into the installation of this, I just wanna show you what's on the label here. So this is an A2L R32 system, as you can see right there. It's powered by 115 volts. So this will just plug into an outlet, typically right below your window. So this is going to actively cycle between grid power and solar, depending on how much solar you have. Max PV input is 13 amps and 380 volts. Rated cooling power input is about 1100 watts. Max power input is 1700 watts. So you do have to get somewhat close to this number. You don't have to have exactly this amount, but this is gonna determine how much you're gonna save via solar. Now, just for reference, I have seven solar panels up here on the roof, and they're just temporary panels. Um, they're flexible panels, but we have three on this side and four on the other side with a total of seven, and these are 200 watt panels each. So you'll just have to do the math and see if it makes sense how long it will take you to pay for itself. Um, and depending on you know what area you live, how much sunlight you get, just take all that into consideration. So I'm currently running my air spool mini split on this solar array. And as you can see right now, it's about one o'clock and we're getting about 700 watts of energy. Um, there's partial sun, mostly sunny today. So it'll go up and down. I don't even have this one plugged in currently, but basically we're just gonna take these terminals here, route it around to our window unit, and we're gonna harness that same energy over to our window unit. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is attach our accordion sides. Now these were shipped really well in bubble wrapping just to make sure that they don't break or anything. And I thought they did a really nice job of that. So before we slide these into their tracks, and they're also labeled left and right, so this goes on the right side, but before we slide that in, we're gonna extend this accordion all the way past these arms, and we're simply gonna slide it into this track. Just like that. There we go. And then once we have this slid in all the way, we'll then slide it right into this little track. And then down here on the bottom, we have a square piece that this slides into. So now when we have this fully pushed in, as soon as we set this into the window track, we can simply pull this out and it's gonna seal that really well. Love that design. So we'll simply repeat that process on the left side. So the next thing we need to do is prep our window. So what we're gonna do is attach a foam strip right here on the bottom of this window sash. And that's where this piece comes in. So we're just gonna measure it from the inside there to here. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You can just rip this, take your adhesive off, and we're just gonna stick it to the bottom of the window. And that's gonna form a nice tight seal. Beautiful. Just give it a push, make sure that that adhesive is stuck really well. You can even close the window just to make sure that adheres really well. 
All right, we're ready to install our window. So we're just gonna open this back up all the way. Just being careful not to damage these curtains that we just put in. So we're just gonna lift up and we're gonna set this right inside the window track, just like that. And then while holding it on the bottom side here, we're gonna drop our window Just like that. Now, depending on how permanent you want this to be, you can put a screw here and a screw there and a screw there to keep these curtains in place. Um, being as this is just a temporary installation, I'm not gonna do that. And this is really snug, actually. The only little tiny air gap I see is right there. So you could take a, a little tube of silicone and fill that, but everything else looks really good um, and sealed. And I think it turned out really nice. So we're just gonna do the same thing on this side. All you do is extend it and that foam piece does a nice job of sealing all back here as well. So you just extend it and then this little lip tucks on the inside of the window like that. And that's it. Super duper easy. Um, one thing I was thinking, if you don't want to drill something to the face of your window, what you can also do is put downward pressure on this and you could just put a little L bracket right here. So nobody could tamper with your window, open this, or rob your house or steal your window unit. Um, if I was mounting this permanently, I would just attach one here and one on this side as well. It's just less visible than screwing holes into the front of the window. Alternatively, you can just do this, run a screw through there and you can back it out depending on how much you want it to grab, but I cannot move this window up and you would, have, you would have to really struggle to try and get that up. And now I don't have to worry about this thing working its way out of the window when this unit is running. So that's a permanent installation in my book. Everything is sealed up air-wise. If you wanted to seal little stuff like that, you could totally do that. But let's hop outside, get our DC isolator connected, and get our solar hooked up to this guy. All right, guys, so this is what everything looks like from the outside. So we mounted our isolator switch right here on the side and we just verified that nothing was right behind here. This row of coils is right here, so just be mindful of that. But right here, there was nothing. So we have one screw there, one on the bottom, and that's just a short self-tapping screw. So isolator switch is on, so it just goes from PV plus to plus here, and negative to negative here. And then our lines are going out to our existing solar, and we'll make that connection here in just a second. So super easy, nothing, nothing crazy about this. It was very easy, it took me about five minutes to do this portion outside. Unit sticks out about the same as a regular window unit, uh, probably a couple feet, maybe a little less than a couple feet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our solar, the two lines that we just showed you outside is going to our solar panels. So super straightforward there. Let's go ahead and see if our remote will work from day one. I think I remembered something about having to program this, so let's find out. Look at that. It automatically works with this. We can also set up our app to work on this. Our fan just came on. So we're gonna go over to mode, make sure we're in cooling mode. And we're gonna crank it down to 65. So let's give that a few minutes and see what we got. All right, here's the unit outside. Quiet, spitting out tons of heat there. And we have it slightly sloped so that our condensate water will drain off. So this is another really cool feature of the air spool um, window unit. You can adjust a max or a minimum for AC input. So if you only want this to contribute 20% or 25% max, you can leave it there if you want it set to 50. So it goes, cycles through 100%, 75, 50, and 25. So if you only want this to run on solar and only use 25%, you can significantly decrease your energy usage and solely run this off of solar. Now, with that being said, we can also run this unit with zero um, grid power. So we could actually completely unplug this from grid and this will just run when the sun is out. You can set it on a schedule. So when you know the sun is up, this will schedule to turn on 
and then when the sun starts to go down, you can have it scheduled to turn off. You can do that all in the app and it makes it super nice and easy. Then over here we have our fan speed settings, temperature settings, auto, cool, dry, and fan modes. And then to connect the app, you simply hold this down for three seconds and that will put it in pairing mode and then the app pairs via your Wi-Fi. That whole process was really easy and it's all set up now. All right guys, so we are fully powered on solar right now. So we're spitting out 50 degree air and uh, just a few seconds ago, we were showing on our app, we were showing um, 700 watts of energy being pulled in through the AC side. So we when we originally turned it on, it was all pulling through AC. And uh, come to find out one of my PV connections was just slightly loose. So I just had to make sure the connection was good. We're now pulling 530 volts and um, the unit just cycles on and off, but it's spitting out really cold air. This is saying it's about 75 degrees in the garage right now. We haven't been running the um, air conditioner all day. And since we've been setting this up, it's just kind of been doing its own thing. But we're spitting out 51 degree air right now. So we have more than a 20 degree split. Um, so this thing is just doing some awesome work. And as you can see in the app, it's just um, really cool to be able to use this and control it remotely and see how much you're saving actively. Um, that's a pretty cool option as well. And the other thing is, so since I disconnected my solar AC, um, if we had these both connected, we could simultaneously um, allow us to run the solar mini split as well as our window unit in the same app. So really cool there. So this is pretty cool, depending on what the temperature requirement is. I just pulled this all the way down to its lowest settings and I watched the PV ramp up slightly. And as you can see, this is starting to drop on our supply temp. So it might factor in because this is right here by the, uh, by the AC unit. Um, it might think it's getting close to 65 degrees. I'm not sure on that, but um, it's pretty cool to see how it actively adjusts depending on what you have this temperature set at. So this gives you a good idea of how much this actually requires. I haven't seen this go over, I think 800 watts. So this is just pulling a little bit of AC current right now. So as we speak, this is using like just a tiny, tiny bit of money in terms of energy, just like less than cents of energy. And this is all running off of the sun. That is just awesome. So we're now pulling 876 from PV, nine from AC. So this will pull as much as it needs to from PV and the rest it will accommodate for via AC. So this is in full blast AC right now. And we're pulling 28 Watts of AC. That's awesome. 38 degrees guys. That is amazing. This little thing really packs a punch in terms of, you know, regular air conditioning. You know, this is not a heat pump, but even so it is an awesome, awesome air conditioner. And the fact that you can run this for free is just amazing. Now let's talk about pricing for just a second. This unit is priced at $11.95 and you can also get a discount when you use my code DIYHVACGUY at checkout. And we'll leave more specific information as far as that discount price in the video description. Now just full transparency, this kit does not come with solar panels that does need to be purchased separately. So just take that into consideration how long that will pay for itself. If it's feasible for you, I highly recommend the air spool solar window unit. I think it's an awesome unit. One other really cool thing that air spool does is they have a one year buyback guarantee. So if in that one year you don't like something about that unit, they will buy it back. They are committed to making sure that you are satisfied as a customer. And I've thoroughly enjoyed working together with um, David over at air spool. Now, if you want to see the full installation video of our air spool DIY mini split kit that went in in virtually like 30 minutes to an hour, you can find that video right there. And I'm sure you'll find it intriguing as well. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.